They say it's better to be proactive than reactive. The NFL has the ladder down pat as they change rules and policies as they see fit to address the issue of the day in football, aka fixing their mistakes after everyone has reacted. In this video, we're going to break down flawed rules the NFL needs to change before they start killing the game we all love. And all that is coming up right after this. This video is sponsored by Bounty Sports. Look, we love talking about sports, but shouldn't there be a fun, low-risk way to make a little cash off them too? Introducing Bounty Sports, the easiest, lowest risk way to play fantasy sports. And no, lowest is not a word. Look here, I have five bucks in my account and all I have to do is pick who is going to win or lose this weekend. I've been on a streak, let's hope I'm right. Favorites are worth one point and underdogs are worth more. So you gotta hunt for those upsets. The player with the most points at the end wins the contest and wins the cash. It's that easy. And some contests pay out as much as a thousand dollars. Bounty Sports has contests in just about every league and new ones are live every day. And if you use my referral code FPV5 at sign up, you'll get a free $5 added to your account with no deposit necessary. I mean, they're making your first contest risk free. So go to bountysports.com or use the link below and use my code FPV5 and get a free $5 drop right into your account, which you can use to play immediately. Why not try it out risk free? Easy, fun, and simple. Bountysports.com. The fake slide. In the opening moments of the 2021 ACC championship game between Pitt and Wake Forest, Panthers quarterback Kenny Pickett made one of the greatest moves we've ever seen from a quarterback. And hopefully, it'll never happen again. Halfway en route to the end zone, Pickett drops his hips, faking a slide and causing defenders to pull up and avoid a collision. Pickett just kept on rolling right to pay dirt. It was simultaneously one of the coolest and most deceitful plays in the history of football. You can't blame Pickett for doing it, and you wouldn't blame a defender for plowing into him the next time he slid to the ground. The play has already been banned by the NCAA Rules Committee. Anytime a ball carrier begins, simulates, or fakes a feet first slide, the ball should be declared dead by on-field officials at that point. The NCAA rarely gets anything right when it comes to off-the-field rules, but they nailed it with this on-the-field stipulation. And the NFL should follow suit. I'm trying not to laugh imagining Big Ben's lower half falling off at the thought of even attempting a fake slide, but if Kenny Pickett can effectively feign giving himself up, imagine what Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes can do. Of course, Daniel Jones would just fall down. NFL defenders are already put in a tough spot whenever they have to bring down a quarterback, so let's not make it any harder for them. Copy and paste the NCAA interpretation into the NFL rulebook and call it a day. Taunting. In the NFL, you can legally send another human being to the hospital, but you can't hurt their little feelings. Football is a game that requires massive amounts of adrenaline and testosterone, and to expect those chemicals to stop flowing as soon as the ref blows the whistle is simply unreasonable. But in 2021, it became what the NFL calls a point of emphasis. To quickly translate that, a point of emphasis means we're going to flag something over and over early in the season until it becomes drilled into the player's head that they can't do it anymore. The NFL made a point of it with roughing the passer holding and now with taunting. And who can we thank for that? Some old guys like Giants owner John Mara. To be specific, the NFL defines taunting as the use of baiting or taunting acts or words that engender ill will between teams. No, we can't have ill will between teams in a sport where players are paid to knock the living shit out of each other. Why, that could lead to a rivalry, which, dear God, could lead to increased interest from the fans, better TV ratings, and ultimately, more money for the NFL. The league would be better off allowing taunting to a certain extent, of course. Some of the greatest clips in NFL history would be considered taunting today. Shannon Sharp calling the National Guard because we are killing the Patriots. Philip Rivers, Ned Flanders level clean trash talking. Heck yeah, baby! And even Andrew Luck complimenting opposing defenders would be considered a form of psychological warfare. That's it, big man. 
the NFL needs to ditch the emphasis on taunting before it costs a team their season. Like a crucial first down because some linebacker stared at the sideline. Seriously, what the f***? The onside kick. Look, comebacks happen in the NFL, ask the Atlanta Falcons. But when the NFL made it so that players couldn't get a running start on kickoffs, they got it absolutely right. That simple change made in the interest of safety dropped the onside conversion rate from about 30% to only 9 However, the league made another change that tried to offset that, and it needs to change. In 2021, the NFL established a new rule that said that the receiving team could only line up nine players in the setup zone, limiting the amount of players that can get on the ball. The success rate jumped up to 15%, and to me, that's a step in the wrong direction. Why? Because the onside kick absolutely cheapens a defensive stop. To make a single play equivalent to stopping a team on four downs or forcing a turnover seems unfair and stupid. You're telling me one guy on the hands team making a mistake is the same as a defense going four grueling downs to stop a desperate team? If you're losing, try not sucking earlier in the game or coming up with a stop when it mattered. The Eagles proposed a far worse alternative, a single 4th and 15 play in lieu of an onside, which greater tips the balance in favor to the offense, especially late in games where a defense is likely exhausted. I bet teams like the Chiefs would exploit this all game. Football is already bastardized enough. Stop making the end of games a clown show. Defense should matter. And now for our final rule that needs to be changed before it's a problem. Missed penalties. I'm going to do something I usually wouldn't. I'm going to give NFL officials a little bit of credit. For all their limitations, they do a pretty good job keeping track of what happens on the field all the time. I mean, they are right there on the field. They're certainly not perfect, but given the circumstances, they catch a lot of what happens. But let's get rid of those circumstances. The NFL has used the official review since 1999 after a brief hiatus in the 90s. But there are only certain things that can be reviewed. Spot of the ball, catches, fumbles, etc. Those are impactful plays to be sure. But so are penalties that result in a free 15 yards. I'm talking about personal fouls, face masks, roughing the passer, late hits, even that god-awful taunting. The referees are given a mulligan on plays with binary results, so why aren't they allowed to change their mind or be asked to change their mind on some subjective calls that have to be made instantly? Shouldn't subjectivity be granted a little more time to arrive at a decision? The NFL owners don't think so. A proposal in 2018 made by the Chargers would have allowed roughing the passer and hits on players in a defensive posture to be reviewed. Another proposal that same offseason made by Washington would allow all personal fouls to be reviewed. Needless to say, neither one got past the vote. The owners are cool with the most punitive penalties in their game remaining a judgment call. I mean, how else would you still be able to fix games? Of course, after the debacle in the 2018 NFC Championship game in New Orleans, the NFL made all pass interference plays subject to challenge or review. That didn't go so well. Out of 81 potential pass interferences that were challenged or reviewed, only 13 were overturned throughout the 2019 season, a mere 16%. And that rule was quickly removed. Let's eliminate judgment though. Penalties like missed face masks, missed false starts, or lining up offside don't require interpretation. Hell, even a late hit should be able to be looked at. It's pretty definable when you look back. All those should be challengeable, period. Instead, now you got refs looking up at the scoreboard for a quick replay because they were out of position and missed a call. To me, it's amazing when 80,000 people in the stands and millions of people at home see something, yet the zebra on the field didn't. And that's not right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting films on sports. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to my next video.